Hi kids, welcome back to our fun-filled grammar adventure. Today, we are diving into the world of prepositions that show how things are done and who or what is involved. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today, we'll focus on a few special prepositions. Here, what we are covering. An introduction to prepositions, rules for using by, rules for using with, rules for using about, rules for using for, rules for using of. So grab your notebooks and let's begin our exploration. Children, now these prepositions by, with, about, for and of help us understand who is involved in actions and how things are done. We'll go through each one with examples to make it super easy. Let's start with the preposition by. By is a powerful little word, my dear children, and it has many uses. Let's look at the rules for using by with the help of examples. So first one is showing how or in what way something is done. The first rule of by shows us how something is done. Let's look at some examples. For example, may I pay by credit card? Travel by land, air or water? And by post or by email. Children, may I pay by credit card means that paying is done using a credit card. You can travel by land, air or water. It's telling us the different ways or means of traveling. And the last one, I send the letter by post. Here by is showing that the letter is sent through the method of post or email. Next rule, near or next to someone or something. By can show something that is near or next to another thing. Here's how. There is a house by the river. It means the house is located next to the river. Next example, can we have the table by the window? This means they wanted the table close to or near the window. Is it clear? Let's move to the next rule. Not later than a certain time. That means not after the deadline. Before deadline. It's all about deadlines children. By can mean no later than a specific time. Specific time means deadline. For example, can you finish the work by 5 o'clock? Here, by shows the latest time for finishing your work. It will be done by tomorrow. This means that by the end of tomorrow, the task will be completed. I hope it's clear. So let's move to the next one. Showing degree or amount. By shows the degree or amount of something like measurements or increases. For example, the bullet missed him by two inches. Here by shows the exact amount, two inches. Next example, house prices went up by 10%. Children, this example tells us the amount or percentage increase in prices. Clear? Let's move to the next one. Showing which part of someone or something is touched or held. Finally, we have the last rule for by. By is used to show which part of a person's body is touched or held. For example, I took him by the hand. This means holding his hand. Next, he grabbed her by the arm. Here, by indicates 
that the shoulders were the part that were held or arms were the part that were held and the last one is they held him by the shoulder that means they touched him using his shoulder i hope this is clear all right our next preposition is with we use with in lots of ways but today i'll show you five super cool rules so let's get started so rule number 1 is we can show that two things are together for example i ordered a sandwich with a drink this means the sandwich and the drink come together imagine you are getting a sandwich and the drink together cool isn't it let's move to the next example he was with his friend when he saw me children this means he wasn't alone he was with his friend he was near his friend which shows that they were together clear let's move to the next one with is also used to indicate having with can also mean having something like i met a guy with green eyes oh green eyes this means the guy has green eyes another one woman with long hair look pretty so here with means that the woman had long hair see how that works okay let's move to the next one used to indicate using now we can also show what tool or thing we use to do something for example i wrote a letter with the pen that's right the pen is the tool here or he cut my hair with his scissors which tells us what he used yes his scissors pretty handy pretty easy ha na let's move to the next one we can also show how we feel or the attitude we have like he came to the stage with confidence this means he wasn't shy he was feeling brave and very confident another one i am here with my apology so when you come with something it can give be a feeling or message so remember use with whenever you have to tell about some feeling or some message and finally we use with to show our agreement with can show we agree with someone if i say i agree with your decision to start the project that means i think it's a good idea or i could ask are you with me this means do you agree are we on the same team great job that's all for with i hope it's clear my dear children now let's dive into another preposition of we use often different ways to so let's check them out so our first rule is belonging or connection sometimes of shows that something belongs to or is connected to someone for example the highlight of the show was bhangra that means the best part of the show was the dance bhangra and if i say that is the bag of my friend sister that's another way to say that the bag belongs to my friend's sister can you think of something that belongs to you maybe the favorite book of yours right rule number 2 of can also show the amount or number of something like i had 4 hours of sleep that means i got 4 hours worth of sleep not much or a large number of people gathered to protest here of connects number with the group of people it's how many people were there and the last rule shows 
indicate reference. Of can also give a reference. For example, the winner of the contest will be announced soon. Here, of connects winner to the contest. Another one, she was crowned the Queen of England. It tells us she is the Queen in relationship of England. Nice work. That's all for of. Let's keep moving. Now, let's learn the rules for for. They are quite easy. For is used to tell the reason. We feel deeply sorry for your loss. For your loss means because of your loss. Or he was punished for his misbehavior. He was misbehaving. That's why he was punished. So for always shows the reason or use of something. For example, why we use these gloves? These gloves are for cold weather. We use them for cold weather. Or I bought a new book for leisure reading. For simple reading. That's why I have bought the book. Use. Okay. And the last one is telling the time duration. For example, she stayed in Paris for two weeks. For how long? For two weeks. Or we have been friends for a long time. A long time is the time duration. That's why we have used for before. A long time. I hope it's clear. Very simple, isn't it? Lastly, let's learn the rules for about. My dear children, about is a very important preposition because we use about to talk about topics, reasons, or even purposes. Let's see some examples with few rules. First rule, about can tell us what the subject is. For example, tell me all about it. You want to know everything related to the subject? It or second example, if I say, what is she so angry about? I'm asking for the reason. Why is she feeling that way? I want to know about my subject. Clear? Second rule. About can also show the purpose or an aspect of something. For example, listen to the shock shows about hard work. So we are talking about hard work as the main idea or purpose here. Next example. The book is all about adventure. This means the whole story is on the topic of adventure. The last rule of the day is about can help us ask for reasons like she is upset about it. Upset about it. About here shows the reason why she is upset. And if I ask what are you talking about? It's like saying, what is the subject of your talk? All right, kids. Now, you know how to use with, of, about, for, etc. They might be small words, but they are super important for making sentences. Am I right? So now that we know each preposition, let's see them in an action. Here's Max's story. Let's learn prepositions through her story. Maxie drew a picture of her family. She made it with the crayon. She created it for inspiration. Great job everyone. You are now pros at using agents and instrument prepositions. Remember, by shows who did it, with shows what was used, for shows the purpose, about shows the topic and off makes a connection in a broader sense. Thanks for exploring with us today. 
keep practicing and soon these prepositions will be an easy pie for you see you next time bye bye